Hi. My name's Justin Hall. I had a chance to sit down with author Walter Isaacson in a library in New York City. You know, I've done biographies for a long time. You know, Ben Franklin, to Einstein, and Steve Jobs. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I've discovered is that we who write biographies think it's people sitting in their garages or pacing around the Prussian Academy in their little offices coming up with general theories of relativity. Actually, creativity is very collaborative. And I was interviewing you, Justin, because in 1994, you helped make the web a collaborative medium with both personal blogging, but community formation. And I'm trying to do the history of digital technology and what's collaborative and uh, so I'm writing a book. I'm writing a book about the people who invented the computer, people who invented the internet, and how it became a community me medium. Do you look at your career and say you are a storyteller? Because you've also been a person who's run organizations. I had an older gentleman, great gentleman, when I was growing up, who became a mentor of mine. His name was Walker Percy. Some of you may know he wrote The Movie Goer. He was a southern novelist, Louisiana novelist. When I first knew him, he was sort of an uncle, couldn't quite, quite figure out what Uncle Walker did. It was before the moviegoer came out and you know, his daughter said, well, he's a writer. But you know, he just sat at home and drank bourbon and ate hugs and cheese. I couldn't figure out what's this guy doing. But then his novel came out and I was like 12 or so and I thought, wow, that's cool. I get it. This guy is a writer. And he gave me this one piece of advice. He, I said, well, I want to do that too. I want to be a writer. You know, Uncle Walker, how do I do that? He said, well, there are two types of people come out of Louisiana. Preachers, and storytellers. He said, for God's sake, be a storyteller, because the world has far too many preachers. And so that was like the first lesson of, all right, let me tell you a story. You know, Haley, the guy who wrote Roots, he had something he wanted to preach about, but he didn't do it through preaching. He did it through a narrative, you know, Roots, the narrative of the slave trade. Somebody asked him about it, and he said, you know, the best line you can ever open when somebody wants something is, let me tell you a story. Because if you're going to analyze or preach or manage or whatever, nobody's going to like it. But if somebody says, let me tell you a story, you lean forward. I, you know, had three or four things I could do in life. Be a storyteller, be an analyst or a thinker or a pundit, be a manager of organizations. I was a storyteller. I started off working at Time Magazine, wandering around the world, writing stories. Then I became a manager. I ran Time, then I had to go on to CNN. I discovered at that point that I don't like nor do I do well the management of organizations. Given my druthers, I'd rather, you know, go research, report, and then turn something into a narrative, a storytelling. I love that, storyteller plus preacher. Would you look at the thread of the things you've written and the stories you've told and say that there's some underlying message? Every time you write, you're doing it for a purpose. I mean, the Bible is the best lead sentence ever, you know, with in the beginning, comma. It's like, whoa, that, you know, you got me there. But is that doing it just to tell you about Adam and Eve? It's telling you about the Garden of Eden, the apple, knowledge, whatever is the point of the story. So to the extent I've tried to have points in stories, it's how creativity works. And so I like looking at it through Ben Franklin through Albert Einstein, through Steve Jobs, I mean, awesome creative guy. And so it's not sort of heroism, I don't write about great sports heroes or even, you know, courageous generals, whatever it may be. To me, it's what causes people to have imagination and innovation. Obviously, the people I write about are smart. I mean, Einstein, you don't get much smarter. Smart people are a dime a dozen. They don't usually amount to much. What really counts is being imaginative and being creative. So whether I'm writing about a Ben Franklin, okay, he's a runaway, he's a rebel. Why does he run away? Why does he drop out of school, the Puritan primer learning a school, runs away, becomes a printer, goes over to England, etc. It happens to Einstein. What makes them imaginative? So that's the theme I like to play with, but I don't like writing these books how to be, you know, seven steps to being a creative person or the 12 lessons of, you know, innovation. It's like, no, I'm not going to give you the 12 lessons of innovation, but I'm going to tell you about a flesh and blood dude like Steve Jobs, who is the most innovative person of my generation, and it ain't going to be a 12-step, you know, secrets to innovation. It's going to be his story, a narrative.